Okay, so welcome to today's leg day video. We are training with Hayda, uh, one of the UK's latest IFB pros. I want to share with you a secret. So this is my intro workout drink. It's also partially frozen like a slush puppy. So it's a nice refreshing way. It's also super hot here in Dubai. So if you want a way to cool off during the workout, there's a sneaky tip for you before beginning the workout. Okay, so what I'm doing here is like a, a single leg RDL essentially. So what I'm doing that is trying to get my hamstring to stabilize and fire up to stabilize my hip. So you notice my left side, like this is really easy. My right side is not so good because I'm really flat footed. That one wasn't so bad though. But um, so this is really important. If you have no hip stability, or you can't balance on one leg. You've got a real problem when it comes to training legs. This is why I'm really trying to focus on strengthening this. So I have the ability to stabilize my right weaker leg and not have any issues. Okay, so Hayden's finally decided to turn up and then we're uh, gonna start with lying hamstring curls. We're gonna do basically like the British special, which is like two sets of everything. So I'm gonna presume we'll do one set slightly heavier. Uh, so by doing a heavier set, you're gonna increase muscle, recruit, muscle fiber recruitment and force all of the muscle to work. And then we'll do a slightly lighter back off set, so probably be like 15 reps. Uh, we're just gonna warm up obviously initially. So I was gonna do 88, one off the bottom, and now I've got peer pressure into doing the full stack. So if my hamstring explodes, this is officially Hayden's fault, and I've got to do this. Yeah. Please come back 
Financial advice, we're talking about cryptocurrency, buy Solana. It's very, very cheap. <laughs> it's most transact like most like utilizable crypto, I think, in my opinion. Bitcoin shit. One tip I'd say for reductors, I wouldn't go to failure on these and like do forced reps. Find your duct is such a weak muscle that like that's top, that's, that's you snap up. Fucking yeah, if you've got a groin tear you get a real problem. That's like really difficult. Right. You literally cannot do it. Can't squat, right. can't do anything. Leg like extension? I used to tie um, a niche, you know, the strap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to tie it around it just so I can train legs in some fashion. Horrible. And I did it on the um, that type of adductor machine where your legs are out wide, yeah, because you feel you literally got no control, right? Once it goes, you've got no safety mechanism in place. Like here, you can like put your knee in. Really easy tip if you get knee pain doing a leg extension. If you think about trying to pull your toes up towards you, it actually creates tension behind the knee to actually support the knee joint. So like rather than being limp footed, if you try and point the toes towards you as you come through, it'll actually contract through the back to give you more stability through the knee. And if you think I put it on, but I just That's like video. my nervous system just fucking freaks out. This is actually surprisingly difficult already. So the key with this, you see most people make a mistake, is they let the hip drop back like this, where you want to kind of keep like driven into the machine, drive your hip forwards and thigh into the pad, and then curl up through. <laughs> You see a lot of people will bounce through the full rep range. You want to try and get to very like tippy toes at the top, full stretch in the bottom, and they can contract all the way back up. Like you see a lot of people just bounce through the weight. That's the biggest mistake why people have terrible calves. My calves aren't amazing, they're getting better. But if you want better calves, try that and don't bounce away. That's not the usual one. 
I was just saying to my friend Frank, since moving to Dubai, all I've trained is abs and calves. And they still have the proof. Okay, so the session wrapped up. I said we like the OGs, the fitness industry, because we're about we're probably 10 years older than everyone else here. <laughs> I'm about like yeah. six years older than everyone else. No one here. knows though, so. <laughs> Don't I, tell anyone. I had Botox last week, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I actually did. You see how smooth my forehead is. I was going to say, you look fucking fresh. Youthful. Youthful. And I had my hair cut yesterday. You don't look like you're just training legs, would it that way? No, no, no. It's, it's all that assault bike kick oh, cardio we're doing. Fucked. Uh, it's a question I like to ask everyone at the end of every session. What would you say is your number one tip for developing muscle mass? Obviously, you're in a bulking phase at the moment. What would you say is your biggest tip for that, Hader? Obviously, um, obviously the basics are obviously, as you all know, is um, being in a calorie surplus. But I genuinely think it's. Um, taking sets to failure, true failure, and giving it all you've got. I mean, it's not always possible because sometimes you get to a point where, <laughs> without <laughs> being a pussy, like you're kind of in a bitch takes over and yeah. you, uh, like on that leg press it. in there, like I know I, I stopped a couple of times when I should have carried on, but I was just getting that lactic acid and I just kind of pussied out well, that, a That's bit. why I think high rep training is difficult to build muscle mass yeah. because your ability to push yourself at like 15, 20 reps is really difficult. When yeah. the load's heavy, yeah. it physically stops you. Definitely agree with that, yeah, for sure. And I think that's what happened in that leg press there. It's just that lactic burn came in and I was just like, I can't fucking do it anymore. Really, I could have. If I'd have kind of done the whole mind over matter thing and tried to block out that pain and carry on and push through, probably got to got a couple of more reps. But yeah, for me, I feel like it is that, um, I'm, I'm school of JP, I'm the whole progressive overload fucking well, that's over, what I like. I like, over everything. And I like doing two sets for everything. I get bored after two. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm the same. Like, if you'd have asked me maybe 10, 15 years ago now, really, I'm showing my age, I'd have been doing <laughs> three sets on this and three on that, and maybe four on that. But now it's like load, back off, move on, load, back off, move on. And the whole low volume, high frequency approach where you can hit the muscle group multiple times in a week and recover from it is, uh, I just think it's proven to be the way, man. There's a lot of people doing reps in reserve at the minute and I can just see, I've just seen physiques go backwards. I've seen people make minimal progress and I just think if they could really harness that failure um, technique, then they could really go a long, long way. I just think reps in reserve, is, for me, is just like logically retarded. It's yeah. like if you've got, I could do two more reps, I'm gonna do two more reps, rather than like, oh, every time I'll keep two yeah. back. I How think, do you know if you've yeah, got two? Exactly, and you've got to think of it like, in life, in general, do you stop when you get 80% of the way there? Yeah, yeah, like it's like business. Like you're not just going to be like, yeah, I could earn another five grand next week, but I'm just going to, I'm not going to bother. Like, I'll, do, I'll do it the week after. <laughs> yeah. Like you go for it, you give it all in every aspect of your life, and get the most out of everything that you can in your life. And that's just how I feel like we should approach everything. So, yeah, so it's, it's all in. Don't hold anything back. All in. Yeah. Exactly. So that's the that. good, good point to finish the video on. So. Yeah. I hope that was helpful guys, uh, I've just released the free 59 Fitness Myths ebook. if you want to get your free copy of that, hit the link below the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop us a like and let us know what your main question is from the workout in the comments below.